check this out. I have a ton of these. And what I've been doing is just painting faces over the crappy original face. And I put a candle in it and I just put it on my front yard and that was my super cheap decoration. But this time I'm going to take one of these and take it to the next level. So let's go back to the studio. Okay, for this tutorial we're going to need a pumpkin bucket. This can be done with anything, but we're using a pumpkin bucket. Some cotton balls. Some school glue. Doesn't matter what kind. Two follow me eyes. Uh, you can do it with ten eyes if you want. I'm using two. And some hot glue teeth. Right, got some fake teeth there made with hot glue that I made with this white, uh, with these white glue, uh, white glue sticks. Um, people asked me on the last episode where I got them, so I put a link below where I found them. They're called fabric uh, glue stick and uh, they're white, they're like a tooth white, which is better than the traditional clear one. because. You don't have to go through the extra step of painting your teeth. But the tutorial for the teeth is linked below. The link to get the, the white glue sticks is linked below and the tutorial to make the follow me eyes is linked below. So if you haven't seen those, go back, check them out. They're real quick and easy so you know what we're doing here. Let's get started. The first step is prep work. These eyes and nose, as you can see, they're indented into the pumpkin, so I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use this side. The other thing I'm not going to use is this little handle, so I'm going to cut that off. There you go. And we're going to draw the face on the back. Uh, the face is up to you, but uh, I'm using these eyes, so I'm going to draw a holes. I'm going to draw some circles the size of the eyes a little bit smaller because they're going to be glued on there i'm going to do the eyes i'm going to do a nose and then the creepy smile so you see that with a little smile nose and two eyes so the next step is to cut them out all right i cut the eyes and the nose out I might make the eyes a little bit bigger, you know, but for now that's cool. Now for the mouth, the only word of caution is that uh, if you're going to put the teeth on there uh, and you want this to be the lips, then cut a little bit below so you have something to mount the teeth on. So I'm going to cut right inside this line right here. So I drew an extra line where I want the gums. So I'm going to cut below that. So that little area between the edge of the lips and that is where the teeth are going to be mounted. The mouth is out, nose and eyes. So let's start gluing the eyes. What I'm going to do is take this glue gun, put a little bead around the eye and put the eye on there. Alright, I'm going to set this aside and let's talk about the cotton and the corpse. Try to get these cotton balls, because they look like they are balls, but they are not. They're really like strips of cotton that have been uh, coiled up. So if you can find the edge, see the edge come off, then you peel it. Look at that. It's a strip. So I'm going to use strips of cotton to corpse the pumpkin. So I'm going to unfurl about 50 of these. I have a ton of strips here, but if I need more, I have more cut. So now, taking just some water and glue, I'm going to go ahead and use the whole tub of glue. It's 
stir it real well. Oh, I'm putting the pumpkin on a towel because it's going to drip a little bit. But all we're going to do is take the strips of cotton. Um, and you can spread them out a little bit, spread them out. And then uh, put them in the glue butter mixture. Let them soak. And get the excess out. So you don't want this totally soaked with water glue. Once you got that, just hook a little bit on the top and corpse away. You can spread it, give it some texture. What I'm going to do is make sure I skip over those pumpkin sections so that it looks like a pumpkin and not like a basketball. Cotton will give it that uh, stringy texture that looks like a pumpkin. Makes it more organic than this plastic look. We're going to do this all around the pumpkin. So we've corpsed all the backside. Right now it's see through the cotton, but it will be painted and you won't be able to see the face. But that has been corpsed all the way and we are here at a real face. So it's going to be similar thing as we did around but just being careful to go around the eyes, nose and to wrap the cotton around the mouth to make the, the lips and the different shapes. Right now I'm just going to go around the features. As you can see, it's super easy to spread the cotton around exactly where you want it. All I'm doing here is just hanging pieces of cotton downwards and spreading it with my hands. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go make a coffee uh, and then we'll work on the little details which will be easier to work with is the if the whole pumpkin is totally dry. So I'm gonna put this in front of a fan and let's go make some coffee. That's nice and dry. So let's make some of the features like the eyelids, top and bottom, and then a little bit on the lips. For that we're doing the same exact thing that we did for the corpsing, except that we're going to do it in a smaller scale over the eyes and mouth and everything. Little piece. What we're going to do is that, just lay it on top and then just blend it right into the other corpse. See it? Let's do the other eye, the bottom of the eye. And then I wanna do some lips over the area where the teeth are gonna go. As you can see, I can blend that top end into the finish so it looks like it smoothly becomes lips. And this one I'm not going to blend so it looks like they hang over. See? There you go. Let's let this dry. That's nice and dry. So, one thing I like to do personally other people do it differently is I'm going to paint the whole thing with black exterior latex. That will give it a rubbery uh, coating over the whole thing. Plus also, uh, when you start with dark, you can uh, dry brush better from dark to light. So let's paint this all black, except the eyes of course. Alright, that is painted 
black all the way around. I just need to touch up a few parts and then I'm going to let this dry. Right, I removed all the rest of the latex paint that got in the eye and now this is nice and dry. Looks wet but it's not. So let's start dry brushing. For that I have a mixture of reds, yellows, oranges, ochre and I'm just going to right here on this sill pad just mix it all up until I get a, a combination of oranges and I'm not going to make it all the same orange but instead have a little variation between the different areas. I'm going to paint about 95% of the surface which means that some of the black will show through but this will be mostly orange. And then I'm just going to gently cover the whole pumpkin. As you can see in the deepest areas it's still black. Now for the gums I'm just going to go with a lighter shade. Maybe like the flesh inside of a pumpkin. Right, while those gums dry, I'm just going to start dry brushing the whole pumpkin. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take a really dry brush of a lighter color. So I'm using like a very light orange. And I'm just going to get all of it off. From the brush. And then we're just going to gently go across the grain. That way only the high spots pick up that uh, lighter color. All those wrinkles start jumping out. So you can see every little fiber of that cotton starts showing up after the dry brushing. So there's the most important step. Alright, tooth time. These are the teeth we made last week in the vlog. If you haven't seen it, I put a link below to the vlog and to the tutorial to make the teeth. And all I'm doing is taking the glue gun and putting a tiny little bit of glue. Not too much because it will melt your tooth. And then applying it exactly where you want it. So the teeth are all on and I've decided against putting any sort of stain because it's pretty dark as it is. So I'm going to keep it uh, that color but I will stain the teeth. So I'm going to do that right now with some wood stain. So I'm just going to rub the tooth with the stain all the way around and then just wipe the top clean. I'll leave some brown edges around it. So the pumpkin is almost done. All I'm going to do is spray, uh, spray paint with a clear coat to make it a little shiny and to give it a little bit of weather resistance. So I'm going to go downstairs to do that and this should be done. Ready to go. So that's clear coated and it's kind of shiny but it's not very 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 shiny so I might go back and get some spar polyurethane and coat it again. But in the interest of time I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'm going to put a handle here. And there you go, there is the pumpkin bucket. My son, which this should be his last year trick-or-treating, I hope not, uh, is going to have the coolest bucket in the whole neighborhood. Or I'll just hang this from one of the trees with a candle inside and it will look really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that now you know what to do with those buckets. If you find them at the thrift store, buy them and convert them into cool little creatures. Uh, 
If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.